Today, I'm meeting a friend of mine in Chestnut Hill, a quiet neighborhood west of downtown. Corinne lives in the neighborhood and is a commercial real estate agent here in the city. I used to live at this end of the city, and I remember when uh, my children were little, this was a grocery store, we would bring them in, and now it's this real trendy cafe. You're a resident of Chestnut Street. I am. Talk to me about what it's like living West Chestnut Street. I love it. My husband and I have lived here for a few years. This is a part of town that you can walk your dog at any hour of the day, and that's actually how we end up meeting a lot of our neighbors. Mm -hmm. We say hello so many times until you have to say, hi, I'm Corinne, by the way, and this is where I live. What about you? How long have you been right. here? Um, it's really a great mix of homeowners and renters. You know, it could be a single family house next to a five unit apartment building, but all the people are really great. For a lot of people who aren't really that familiar with the city or aren't really uh, that familiar with this end of town, right? This is a neighborhood that is eclectic in terms of housing style, uh, people living here, income thresholds, right? It's, it's, again, a little bit of something for everybody. If you want to move here, you could find a house that is affordable, um, starter homes, smaller. There's some that are as little as 1,100 square feet, or you could have a mansion. There's homes in this area that are over 5,000 square feet, everything from 100,000 to, you know, $800,000 for sale. Right. 